the biggest south asian media group why media the major issues that uh, we have been witnessing uh, one of the policies that why media has always adopted is that uh, we don't want to peddle any sort of gossip uh, and especially with the personal lives of any uh, of celebrities elected leaders or for that matter even the royal family but i think uh, w- one of the things we cannot be oblivious to the fact that uh, more so recently there have been many questions that have left unanswered and let me give you a little bit of a background where this all started from uh, catherine uh, the princess of wales and she could be the future queen of england uh, last year in september she did mention that yes she is having a film finger injury which was fine uh, no big deal and then in october there was another picture which uh, showed that yes uh, the princess of wales uh, catherine whom we also call kate yes she did have a finger injury that was in october 2023 then after that we heard that yes she didn't miss uh, too many events but then her public appearance which i would say was december 2023 the christmas that was then and then after that what happened was that yes uh quickly moving on to uh january uh, suddenly we got this information that an ambulance came to the palace it was rushed to a private hospital in london england and then uh, after that the information came out that catherine the princess of wales uh she uh, went through a major surgery now major surgery what was the reason the only thing which has been confirmed by the royal palace was that she's had an abdominal surgery now obviously abdominal surgery major surgery but uh, what were the her health issues not many things have come out officially of course there are many other things which are being rumored we'll not talk about that now the question is uh, initially it was stated that she would be away from her official duties for good 3 months then came out a statement that uh, kate middleton catherine she would be away from her duties for good 9 months so now already the rumor mills were uh, you know going on all cylinders but here it is where is kate so this uh, started uh, being questioned on the social media it was a trend where is kate that was the question being asked almost everywhere where is kate now just to give you the perspective we're talking about catherine the princess of wales who's married to prince williams prince williams could be the future king of england because he's the eldest son of the current king charles and catherine we're talking about the future queen of england and obviously one of their main responsibilities is the pr job for what is being britisher what is being royal what is england all about so so many other things among uh, this is one of the major responsibilities to go around in public events now we all know that there is lot of interest in the royal family not only in england uh, but also across the globe canada has been one of the colonies of uh, britain so it was australia at one time new zealand and so was india pakistan among many other colonies of britain the commonwealth group as we call them but i think not only the interest is within the commonwealth groups but there are a lot of royal fans in england as well uh, but across the globe even in states there is lot of interest and then once this trend was on social media where is kate where is kate there were so many other things going on but here comes a picture on the mother's day maybe i mean they did try to uh, you know and here's a picture that you're seeing right now in in this audi uh, before we show this picture if we can show the picture in the audi once again i mean no no there are no confirmations to that audi picture here which uh, kate is you see there kate and the passenger seat at, i mean we not confirming this picture because why media hasn't taken this picture but this picture was on social media and uh, in england they didn't show this let me tell you this the uk press behaves differently than than the american press but in american press and many other media outlets this picture was shown uh, in which you could see uh, kate's mother driving her but uh, and in an audi and this was uh, supposedly after the surgery but then i think uh, where things got almost out of control was now i'll show you the mother's day picture 
Now this Mother's Day picture comes out, and this was an official picture. Now let me show you the Mother's Day picture. This was initially an official picture where uh, Catherine uh, is, is, is shown with her three kids, and there Catherine, the Princess of Wales, uh, wishes everyone a happy Mother's Day and other wishes, which is okay by any accounts. But then uh, many people start questioning this thing that uh, there are some, uh, you know, questions in this picture. For example, uh, I mean, look at the right hand of Kate. Where is she? It's, a, it's, it's not seeming, with her, you know, maybe there are edits done in this picture. And to the point uh, that, yes, the news agencies in our media, we call it kill the news or kill the picture. They had to kill the picture. I mean, the major news agencies, the news outlets had to retrieve, kill this picture. Why? Because there were some edits done in this picture. So why would someone put out an edited picture? So more questions than answers. So this picture actually, you know, suddenly created a lot of storm, not only for the royal family, but obviously anyone who's following that and the media had a lot many questions, more than ever before for Kate Middleton, for the Princess of Wales, Catherine. Now in this picture, if you say one of the major questions that was, why is Kate not wearing her wedding ring? Which if we show you many other pictures, I mean, you, you'll see that blue ring. It's a beautiful ring. She, she would wear it at most of the public functions and uh, Dinah would also wear that. So now these are the questions being were being asked. Why is she not wearing her uh, wedding ring? You, you could forget that or maybe this at home or so many other things. Among so many other things, one of the things which started being discussed, not everything seems to be. So yeah, uh, not only regarding her health, but there were questions regarding her marriage as well, regarding uh, is to the point that they even asked, started asking, is she even alive? Now, going back, this is, this is a picture of the Younger Times. Uh, you could see this picture. There's a beautiful picture of uh, Prince Williams and uh, Princess of Wales, Kate. Uh, they, they, met at, they met at college. They, they, they dated and then finally they got married. Not that Kate didn't have friends earlier. She did. Williams did. Uh, you know, he, he also had his share of friends, but then I think they got involved. It's a beautiful couple. And obviously we all know the Harry and Meghan story. They uh, almost, you know, signing away from all the royal duties, almost, uh, you know, telling the royal family and others, we will distance ourselves. But this couple, Kate and William, the Prince of England and Princess, the royal wedding, and really everyone looked uh, looks upon William as the future King of England as a future queen of England. So these are some more beautiful pictures that you're seeing when the queen was still alive on this planet. So many other beautiful pictures, but here comes a twist. A name which has been popping up recently, what's that name? Sarah Jane Hanbury. A beautiful couple, beautiful story, everything sort of going right for this couple, but then why this name has suddenly come out? Sarah Jane. We're showing her picture to you right now. Sarah Jane Hansbury. So Sarah Jane, uh, let me tell you that one of the reasons why her name is coming up, uh, Sarah's name is com coming up. The reason is that yes, there were rumors in 2019 earlier. There were rumors earlier in 2019. If I can show you a few pictures of now in full screen, uh, uh, if I can show you a few pictures in full screen, here is a very interesting picture. If I can show this one actually in full screen, so I, ca I can tell you why we're, we would like to focus for some time on this picture. Now, if you look at this picture, you could see, what, what, what are we seeing over here? Uh, we are seeing uh, Prince, uh, Prince Williams. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an event here. And in picture, uh, we're also seeing uh, another, uh, we're, uh, we're seeing, uh, oh, here's, here's, here's a few more pictures. So uh, you're seeing two couples. Uh, and here we're seeing, if, if I could just focus one minute on this picture. So this is Sarah Rose Hanbury on the left side and on the right side, you will see the Princess of Wales, Kate. And in the middle, in the center, you would see uh, the Prince. So now if you look at this picture, you will clearly see Sarah Rose Hanbury, very good friends with Princess of Wales. Yeah, we can come back. <clears throat> Uh, if, if you look at this picture, you will see that, uh, and that they were considered as the besties, I mean, the best friends, Sarah, uh, Rose, Henbury, and 
the Princess of Wales, uh, Kate Middleton, uh, Catherine, uh, the best friends. They, they were seen at different events together. And uh, let me give a little bit of a background about, uh, you know, Sarah Rose Henry. So Sarah Rose, uh, her grandmother, she was also one of the bridesmaids for Queen Elizabeth at one time. So, so the, there's deep rooted connection between uh, Sarah Rose Henry's family and the royal family, starting from her grandmother, who was a bridesmaid, as I just told you, for Queen Elizabeth. There were connections, but I think uh, things changed for Sarah Rose, and I'll give you a little bit of a background. She studied at, um, in college fashion designing, and she's also done some political research for a conservative MP in England. Now she marries in 2009, David. Now who's this guy, David? Uh, if, if you look at this guy, 23 years older to Sarah. Yes, he was 23 years older when the couple got married, which is okay. She moves on to a state, more than 100 rooms. She's giving interviews, but it was almost a stone's throw from the residence of the royal family. So now these, these two couples get close. These two couples become, become family friends. But when the news comes out in 2019, that yes, this was again a rumor. Uh, we have no confirmation for that. But not, not only in 2019, 2022, but now in 2024, the name is popping up again and again, Sarah Rose Henry. So for Sarah Rose, the name coming up again and again, the reason for, for that is that yes, it has been alleged in many uh, social media circles and many other tabloids, which let me tell you that, that yes, the palace has denied. They have said this is this is damaging. This is not true. So 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 they have they not actually addressed the rumor as such recently. But yes, earlier they haven't confirmed it. They've denied. There's nothing of that sort. So, but uh, the social media kept on doing that. Not only just the social media now. Now recently we have seen some late night hosts also talking about this relationship. So, and there also been uh, things discussed that Kate and Sarah, they're no more the best friends. Obviously, I mean, if the rumors are coming out that yes, the prince is somehow involved with uh, Sarah. So Kate won't uh, really be friends with Sarah anymore, although they were besties earlier. So now, uh, if I could conclude a few things that yes, uh, some of them are also referring to Sarah Rose as Camilla. 2.0. Why Camilla 2.0? Because we all know at one point uh, when uh, Dinah and now the current king Charles, he was a prince earlier. So when Dinah and Charles, they were married, there were, you know, uh, news about link up of uh, Prince Charles at that time, now King Charles with Camilla. Camilla was also married, but then eventually we all know once Dinah and uh, Prince Charles, now the King Charles separated, Charles married Camilla. So, but during their marriage as well, there were, uh, I'm sure you all will recall the famous BBC interview, which Dinah did, that right from the start of their marriage, there were not two people in this marriage, there were three. Or actually there were not even three, because why well, I would say not even three, because they, because there were so many other things also involved. But anyways, so Dinah did her allegations, but now, was did did prince uh, charles at that time prince now the king charles did he really like camilla that's a known fact that's why eventually eventually he did marry camilla so now uh, why everyone is referring to sarah as uh, sarah uh, as camilla too because now they're saying oh there's another royal marriage that could end up just like uh, his dad and dinah so uh, we'll keep you updated. I'm sure there are going to be lots more news regarding this, but something is not right. Uh, they're not just one, but many pieces of the puzzles which people are demanding answer. And the most importantly is how is Kate doing? Where is Kate? Where is Princess uh, Kate Milton? That's what everyone is asking. Everyone wants to know where is Kate? I think that's a big question. Where is Kate? We all need to know that. Where is he? Uh, is she doing well? Because when the suspicion goes to at the level when people start asking, is she even alive? I mean, she's doing well. So, so then this definitely deserves an answer. Then secondly, uh, if at all, if at all rumors are to be believed, is there, is, is William doing anything? That's none of our business. If at all that was true as well, that's not our business. That's, I think they're a personal matter, but obviously uh, if, if that's the truth, then obviously media will talk about that and people uh, might, think that they deserve an answer that if at all the prince is 
uh, you know, involved with anybody outside the marriage. So these are a few things we'll discuss, but I think the photo that came out recently did more harm than good. Why media will keep you posted on this story. And we thought uh, our viewers uh, do deserve some sort of, uh, you know, news, uh, some sort of, sort of analysis for us. I hope I did uh, just to the story. So stay tuned with Why Media, Why Plus. We will keep you posted on all the developments of the royal family. The biggest South Asian media group, Why Media. Why?